Hello guys, our next video is about discounting of notes. Another source of cash is by discounting a note. A business may borrow from banks or lending institutions by issuing a note. So when a note is discounted, the interest is deducted in advance. So the cash received is lower than the face of the note. When you say the face of the note, it is known as the principal of the note. When the note is paid at maturity, there is no more interest to be paid but simply the face of the note. So let us have this illustration. So we have uh, two examples here. The first one is discounting a note payable and the second is discounting a note receivable. So the first one, discounting a note payable, this is our illustration. On July 1, 2019, SM Trading owned by Shimabel discounted a 60-day 15% promissory note with Alwyn Bank in the amount of 20,000 pesos. On August 30, 2019, paid the note. Okay, so yan yung ating mga transactions. Now we go to the journal entries on July 1, 2019. So again, ano yung transaction natin? SM Trading owned by Shima Bell discounted a 60-day 15% promissory note with Alwyn Bank in the amount of 20,000 pesos. So the first thing that you will do is compute the interest. O bakit unang kukupitin ang interest? Kasi nga, uh, discounted ang ating note. So in discounting, tinatanggal na natin ang interest. So we need to compute first the interest. Okay, so what is the formula in the computation of interest? The formula is principal times rate times time. So, our principal is 20,000. Our rate is 15% and our time is 60 days. So, yung rate natin should be expressed in decimals and time should be expressed in years. So, this is the computation. Interest is equal to 20,000 times 0.15 times 60 over 360 is equal to 500 pesos. So, ang interest natin ay 500 pesos. Anong klaseng account yon? Since tayo ang nag-issue ng note, meaning tayo ang nag-promise na mag-pay, so our note, note is note payable. So, since ito ay notes payable and this is interest bearing, Yung interest na na-compute natin ay interest expense. So, yung 500 pesos is interest expense. Okay. So, since tinanggal na yung 500 pesos na interest, then magkano na lang yung ating cash na matatanggap? Ang cash natin matatanggap is the principal of 20,000 minus 500 na interest equivalent to 19,500 pesos na lang. So, this is our journal entry, debit cash, 19,500, debit interest expense, 500, credit notes payable, 20,000. So, na, saan ang galing si 19,500? So, ayan yun. And then, si interest expense, and our 20,000 is the face of the note. So, ayan yung pinanggaling nga ng ating entry. So, I hope na kukuha. Then, on August 30, 2019, uh, binayaran na natin yung note. So, what will be the entry? So, pang nagbayad ng note, ano yung laging tatandaan? So, kahit na sinabi na na 60 days siya, lagi mo pa rin check ang number of days incurred. Bakit lagi mo i-check yun? Kasi minsan, ang note ay binabayaran in advance, or minsan binabayaran siya beyond the maturity date. So, ano ang masusunod? Yung actual na days. So, i-check muna natin. Uh, July 1, tayo nag-issue ng notes. So, there are 31 days in July. 31 days minus 1. So, we have 30 days in July. And, sa August, nagbayad tayo ay August 30. So, we have 30 days in August. Total is 60 days. So, Check natin. Ang ating note na initio ay 60-day 15% promissory note. So, meaning, nagbayad tayo at maturity date. 
Another na tatandaan is that when a note is discounted, the interest is deducted in advance. So, meaning, upon payment, hindi na tayo magkocompute ng interest kasi nga nabayaran na natin siya no nag-issue tayo ng note kasi nga discounted ito. So, when the note is paid at maturity, there is no more interest to be paid but simply the face of the note. So, paano ang ating entry? Debit, notes payable, 20,000, credit cash, 20,000. So, yan ang ating entry upon payment on August 30, 2019. So, ang isang pwede din is that the business may lend cash to debtor. Tayo naman ang magpapahiram. So, the interest is likewise deducted in advance. So, let us reverse the situation. The same problem tayo. Yun nga lang, ang nagpahiram ngayon is si Shimabel or si SM Trading. So, on July 1, 2019, SM Trading owned by Shimabel lent 20000 to Pearl Joy. SM Trading received a 60-day 15% promissory note from Pearl Joy and interest is deducted in advance. So, nagpa-discount si Pearl Joy sa atin ng note. So, in short, tayo ang nakatanggap ng promissory note. August 30, received payment from Pearl Joy. So, let us analyze the transactions. So, July 1, 2019. Analyze muna natin. Okay. So, una, compute tayo ng interest. Principal times rate times time. So, 20,000 ang ating principal. 15% ang ating rate. 60 days ang ating time. So, dinivide natin siya ng 360 kasi time should always be expressed in years. So, ang ating interest ay 500. So, magkano na lang ang ibibigay nating pera kay Pearl Joy? Ang ibibigay na lang nating pera is 19,500 kasi nga 20,000 yung hinihiram niya, deducted na ang interest, 19,500 na lang ang ating ibibigay na cash. So, what will be the entry? Debit, notes receivable, 20,000, credit cash, 19,500 credit interest income 500 pesos take note na yung ating interest na account dito ay interest income kasi nga tayo ay nakatanggap ng note so ang note natin ay note receivable interest bearing siya so ibig sabihin may interest income tayo na ma-earn I hope na intindihan ito so saan ang gagaling yung ating entry the note receivable is the face of the note. Yan yung ating cash. And ito naman ang pinanggalingan ng ating interest. Okay. I hope nakukuha. So, on August 30, we received payment from Pearl Joy. Nagsettle na. So, again, iti-check muna natin ang number of days earned. So, July, we have 30 days. August, we have 30 days. Total is 60 days. So, ibig sabihin, si Pearl Joy nagbayad siya at maturity date. No pang tatandaan, when a note is discounted, the interest is deducted in advance. So, therefore, when the note is settled at maturity, there is no more interest to be received but simply the face of the note. So, our entry will be debit cash, 20,000, credit, notes receivable, 20,000. So, madali lang siya, di ba? So, ano yung mga reminders sa discounting of notes? Una, check mo if the note is interest-bearing or non-interest-bearing. Kasi kung non-interest-bearing, wala naman tayo masyadong problema. Wala nang nakakabit na interest. But if it is interest-bearing, check mo. Ano ba ang hawak mo? Uh, notes payable ba? Kung notes payable, ikaw ang nag-issue or ikaw ang nag-promise. So, you issued a note. Laging tatandaan, kapag interest bearing, ang notes payable, may nakakabit yon or kakambal na interest expense. If ikaw naman ang nakatanggap ng note, okay, tayo nagpahiram. So, we have a notes receivable. Kapag interest bearing yon may kakambal yon na interest income. And laging iti-check upon payment or collection, check the number of days incurred or earned. 